Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and violin tutor. So since it has been several years since I released my original violin lessons 1 to 10, which are now beginning to look a little bit dated, I thought it would be a really good time to revisit and release new and up-to-date videos using the latest technology available to me. As well as updating all of the free PDF sheets from the original lessons, I've written a songbook one that will accompany these lessons. Once you've finished lesson 10, I then encourage you to have a go at this songbook, which contains 10 well-known classical and original pieces, which is going to help you practice and reaffirm the knowledge and skills gained from video lessons 1 to 10. What's great about this book is that instead of hunting all over the internet trying to find suitable pieces to play for your current level, only to find pieces that you like but are too hard, this is where the songbook one comes in, as it will not only contain pieces you'll be able to manage, but each piece comes complete with its own separate video performance and tutorial where I will help you through the piece. So let's get started with the new violin lessons one to 10 and I hope you enjoy them. So in lesson 10, just before I go on to the challenge that I mentioned, I'm just gonna go through a quick summary of what we've done. So we know how to hold the violin, we know how to hold the bow as well. So make sure that you know exactly you know, where you're holding the violin and make sure as you're practicing along the violin doesn't creep out to the front or creep out to the side. Make sure that your arm is straight and you're not sawing a piece of wood and that you know, the bow is in the middle. And then we've learnt the open strings. We learnt what the four open strings were and then we learnt where they were on the music. We did the same with the first, the four first finger notes. We learnt what they are on the violin and we learnt where those notes are on the music. Same with the second finger, same with the third finger, same with the fourth finger. And then also we briefly just went through the, the parts of the violin as, as well, just so that you've got kind of that terminology down. And now I'm gonna set you guys a challenge. In my original one to 10 violin lessons, I wrote a song called Gypsy Firelight, which is this one here. The link to download the free sheet music of this will be directly underneath this video. So head down there, download, and you can print this out for free. So this is a piece called Gypsy Firelight that I wrote, which I thought would be a little bit fun for you guys to do. And it kind of almost encapsulates everything that we've learned so far with all the, the notes and all the fingerings and all that kind of thing. But what I did as well as an added extra bonus was making a piano backing track for you all. So there are three backing tracks that you can download, a slower version of the backing track, a sort of medium to fast kind of version of the backing track and a crazy fast version of the backing track for all you guys who are just die hard violinists and you just fancy a challenge. So that is a challenge that I'm setting you. So I want you guys to play Gypsy Firelight and it would be really good for you guys to play Gypsy Firelight anyway. And especially so if you're gonna move on to the songbook one that I've done as well. Songbook one is just a book of 10 well-known classical and original pieces that I have written specific for, specifically for this course. I didn't include it in the original one to 10 lessons because that was way back, way back in the day before I even imagined I would even have a YouTube channel with this many subscribers and you know I'd still be doing this today. So this is an addition to these uh, these blocks of lessons and they contain pieces that I have arranged specifically for you guys that are learning on this course. So you know that they're not gonna be too easy, they're not gonna be too difficult, they're just gonna be just right for you to learn and reaffirm the new skills and knowledge that you've been learning throughout this course. So there's three backing tracks that you can download that go with Gypsy Firelight and they will all be linked, it's all free and everything will be linked directly underneath this video. So I would suggest that you start with a slow one, work through that, then go on to the kind of medium to fast one and then you can go on to the crazy fast one. Before you use any of the backing tracks, it's probably a good idea for you to play Gypsy Firelight and really get the hang of it before you start playing it with, with the piano. You, with the piano backing, you'll never be able to just put the piano backing on and, and play this anyway, unless you are very a very experienced kind of player anyway. So I'm gonna play Gypsy Firelight just on its own for the moment and then I will play it with the three backings so you can hear it. So 
Earth Shifty Firelight is actually quite a fun little piece to play. It's not quite so fun on its own. It's definitely more fun with the backings. So I'm going to play it with this slower backing. It's still, I mean, when I say slow backing, it's still, it's still a pretty fast speed, similar to the speed that I've just done it here. But again, you know, you want to work up to that. Don't just go straight in with that. It might take you a couple of weeks to be able to do that. And then when you start with the slower backing, just put the backing on um, and, and just try and go for it. So, you know, you might, when you put the backing on, you might start, you know, and then, then you'll get lost, but keep it on, keep following with the music and then see if you can pick it up at any point because you're gonna have to do some work to fit it with the backing. You're not just gonna be able to play this on its own and play it perfectly really fast and then put it with the backing and boom it just kind of works together you'll have to do a little bit of work to put it with the backing so it's kind of like a separate kind of job in itself so you've already worked to get this up and going so you can get it going exactly as i've just demonstrated it a few moments ago but then you'll also have to do a bit of work to get it with the backing so it's almost like you can't just play this through perfectly put it with the backing and it'll work unless you're very very experienced then you know, you'll have to just keep going with the backing, just keep playing the backing. You, know, you can put it on loop, put it over and over again until you gradually be able to, you're able to play more and more and more of the backing. So this is the slow version. So there we go, just a little bit of fun of Gypsy Firelight, you know, you guys can just take it as it is, but I really do encourage you to play it with the backing tracks because it will just help you read through the music fast and efficiently as well, rather than sometimes when you're playing without any backing and you make a mistake, you know, it doesn't really matter because you can just pick it up and start again and this, that and the other, but when you're actually having to work towards a backing track or maybe you're playing, in, playing with a group of people, so you're working with other people, they're not going to wait for you, they're just going to keep on trucking and you've got to try and you know keep up with them so it's always a good idea to play with backings especially as a violinist because 
you are mostly going to be playing with backings of some sort rather than just playing solo completely on your own. So whether you're playing with backings or other people, it is really good to have that kind of, um, to have something to work with. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this, this lesson, this course of lessons one to 10. And I really do look forward to seeing you in the next set of 10 lessons, which come with a book this time, a tutorial book, which will cover lessons 11 to 20, and also a song book too as well. And both of those will be linked directly underneath this video. So again, thank you for watching and I will see you in lesson 11. Bye.